So this muddy mess is going to be our beautiful garden. Don't pee on the greenhouse. This is the second day it's been above 60 and it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Miss Kitty and Murphy. I just seeded in here lettuce, radish, spinach, kohlrabi, kale, and some Brussels sprouts. We, our last frost date is uh, around May 17th, 18th. If I can grow these this much earlier in the greenhouse, it'll totally be worth it. So it's an experiment. This will be my first spring with the greenhouse because when we built it last year, it was in May. So it was past time to really grow much from seed in here. We grew tomatoes in here that did fabulous. Actually, this year we're gonna grow our peppers in here and we are gonna be building another greenhouse. It's gonna be wider and the whole interior of the greenhouse is gonna be growing space. It's gonna actually go right next to this one. Show ya. Here's where the new greenhouse is gonna go. And if the weather holds out, we may be able to get started on that this weekend. Fingers crossed. Right about where that pile of wood is with the blue tarp is going to be a new potting shed, which I need out here because I don't have anywhere to put my tools. That tree's coming out. And then from, you know, here, it's going to be either a garden bed or fence I don't know the the potting shed will be right there and I know I want to do some type of a entryway down here so but yeah this would be kind of cool this will be a new garden we're working on this year cattle panels for the new greenhouse and actually I planted in this raised bed because this raised bed usually warms up faster than the others and it's just an experiment. It's just some, some lettuce and some kale and some bok choy that I started from seed inside. I'm gonna cover it at night. It's an experiment to see if I can plant it out this early with protection. I mean, if not, I'll just reseed them. I have a lot of seeds. I kind of stocked up because I was worried that there'd be a shortage. She's loving the sunshine. She's pretty much an outside cat. Except for when it's really cold, like January, February, she'll come in the house. But other than that, she prefers to be outside. We have a covered porch she can get it under with a rocking chair and a cushion. My winter sewing. Yeah, we still got some snow. And they're still calling for snow. But this greenhouse was such a good idea. I, I can't express enough. If you're thinking about putting one of these up or anything similar to it is so nice to get out here in March and get my hands in the dirt. It still gets down in the 20s at night out here and I have that thermometer so I can um, keep track of the temperature in the greenhouse and I also have another like weather station so I compare the outside temperature to the temperature in here in the greenhouse. And pretty much all winter long, it was about the same temperature inside the greenhouse as it was outside. Like it didn't, I thought maybe it would stay like 10 degrees warmer. Although it could be where we live. We're, you know, Northern Michigan. So we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. And that might have had something to do with it. But it didn't really warm up very much. Um, now that the weather has turned a little bit, the difference is drastic. Like it's 50 outside and it's 
7580 in here. I don't know if I mentioned um, that for our garden this year, my plan is to grow everything from seed. Every vegetable, every flower. For a couple of reasons. One, obviously, money. Seeds are way cheaper. Two, I can grow what I want to grow. Like this whole tray of stock. This whole flat of stock. You know, I, that would probably be 18 bucks to buy. And I think the seeds were $4. And the same with the snapdragons. I have tequila sunrise, tall deluxe, apple blossom, and black prince. The black prints are really cool. Even the leaves have a, they're darker veined. I just up potted these today. My granddaughter helped me seed them and we had about 30 in each cell. So I took a chance and transplanted these when they were really tiny like this. And even if only half of them survive, I mean, that's a lot of snapdragons. So I'll be happy. It's just for my garden. And these were some extra the little ones are the tall snapdragons. These ones were definitely big enough to be able to transplant, but generally you don't do it when they're this little, but they were so packed in there. I want to leave those seedlings and stuff in there as late as I can, and then I'll come out after dinner and take them in the house. Miss Kitty, do you love it in here? I love it in here too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.